sulit sub this topic. So for this implicit differentiation, recall that the derivative of x, this is equal to 1. The derivative of 3x, this is equal to 3. Then for the derivative of 5x to the power 3, so multiply this number to this exponent, so this is 15. Then x minus 1 for the exponent to the power 2. Then for the derivative of x to the power 2, so this is equal to 2. So again, there is one number, multiply to this exponent. Then x minus 1 for the exponent, so to the power 1, or that's equal to 2x. Then if we have 7x to the power 3, so multiply this number, so this is 21. Then x to the power 2. Then for x to the power 4, so this is equal to 4. Then x minus 1 for the exponent to the power 3. Then for y, so take note that the derivative of y, this is y prime. The derivative of 2y, this is equal to 2 times y prime. Then if we have 3y to the power 3, so multiply this number. So this is equal to 9. Then y minus 1 for the exponent to the power 2. Then don't forget to put y prime for the derivative of y. Then if we have y to the power 5, so this is equal to 5 times y minus 1 for the exponent to the power 4, then times y prime. So for the derivative of y, there is always y prime. So if we have y to the power 2, so this is equal to 2y times y prime. So this is how to find the derivative for x and the derivative for y. Then for this given, so to find the derivative, we just need to find the derivative for every terms. So for this term to find the derivative, so multiply this number to this exponent. So this is equal to 20, then x minus 1 for the exponent to the power 3, then minus this number to this exponent. So this is 8, then y minus 1 for the exponent, so to the power 1. And again, for the derivative of y, so there is always y prime. Then equals the derivative of a constant, this is equal to 0. Then we need to solve for y prime. So transpose this 20x to the power 3. So this becomes negative 8y. Then y prime equals negative 20, then x to the power 3. Then to solve for y prime, so divide both sides by negative 8y divide by negative 8y, so cancel. So we have y prime equals negative divide by negative, that's positive. And this 20 and 8, so divisible by 4. So 20 divide by 4, this is 5. Then x to the power 3, then over 8 divided by 4, so this is 2 times y. So this is now the derivative for this given. Then for this given, so again to find the derivative, so find the derivative for every terms. So for this term, the derivative. So this is equal to 4x, so multiply this exponent, then plus the derivative of y to the power 2. So this is equal to 2y, then times y prime, then equals the derivative of x, that's 1, then minus 
the derivative of 5y, this is 5 times y prime. Then to solve for y prime, so we need to group all y prime. So in this case, transpose this 4x to the other side. So this becomes 2y times y prime and transpose this negative 5y prime. So this becomes positive 5 times y prime then equals 1. This becomes negative 4x. Then to solve for y prime, so we need to put this y prime outside. So therefore, the remaining, so we put this y prime outside. So the remaining is 2y then plus, we put this y prime outside. The remaining is 5 then equals 1 minus 4x then to solve for y prime so divide both sides by 2y plus 5 also 2y plus 5 then cancel so we have now y prime equals 1 minus 4x then over 2y plus 5 then for this given, so to find the derivative, so this is 2x, then plus, bring down this constant, then times, so for the derivative of x times y to the power 3, so using the product rule, so we have u times b, this is equal to v, times the derivative of u, then plus, u times the derivative of v. So for this given, x times y to the power 3. So this is u and this is v. So u is equal to x and du. The derivative of x, this is 1. Then we have v is equal to y to the power 3. Then the derivative of b, so this is equal to 3y minus 1 for the exponent to the power 2, then y prime. Then using now this formula, so we have v, v is y to the power 3 times du, du is 1, then plus u, u is x times dv and dv is 3y to the power 2 times y prime. Then to simplify, so this is equal to y to the power 3, then plus 3x y to the power 2, then y prime. So this is y to the power 3 plus 3x y squared y prime then equals the derivative of 4x this is equal to 4 then to simplify so this becomes 2x then plus distribute so 3y to the power 3 distribute so plus 3 times 3 is 9 then x y to the power 2, then y prime, then equals 4. Then to solve for y prime, so we need to group all terms with y prime. So in this case, transpose this 2x to the other side and transpose this 3y to the power 3 to the other side. So this becomes 9 times x times y squared then y prime equals 4 then this becomes negative 2x and becomes negative 3y to the power 3 then to solve for y prime so divide both sides by 9x y squared 9x y squared so we have now y prime equals 4 minus 2x 
minus 3y to the power 3 din all over 9xy to the power 2. So this is now the derivative. Then for this even, so again, using the product rule, u is equal to x squared and du, so the derivative of x squared, this is 2x, then v, that's y, and dv, that's equal to y prime. Then from the formula, so the formula is v times the derivative of u plus u times the derivative of v. So v is y times du and du is 2x then plus u and u. That's x squared times dv and dv is y prime. So this becomes 2xy plus x squared and y prime. So this is 2xy then plus x squared then y prime then plus the derivative of 2y to the power 3. So 2 times 3, this is 6. Then y squared times y prime equals the derivative of 3x. This is 3. Then plus the derivative of 2y, this is 2y prime. Then we need to group all terms with y prime. So this becomes x squared times y prime then plus this term 6x squared then y prime then this 2y prime transpose to the other side so this becomes negative 2y y prime then equals 3 so transpose this 2xy to the other side so this becomes negative 2xy then this time, we need to put this y prime outside. So put this y prime outside. So we have y prime then times the remaining x squared then plus 6y squared then minus 2 then equals 3 minus 3xy. And to solve for y prime, so divide both sides by x squared plus 6y squared minus 2. This is also x squared minus 6y squared minus 2. So therefore, y prime equals 3 minus 2xy then all over x squared minus 6 y squared minus 2. So this is now the derivative.